Spirit, bow to Almighty God forever, chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule and constitution of the discalced nuns of the Order of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. With my whole heart, I give myself to this religious institute restored by St. Teresa to seek perfect charity in the service of our Mother, the Church, by the grace of the Holy Spirit and the help of the Mother of God, through constant prayer and evangelical self-denial, and to give eternal glory to the Most Holy Trinity.
Father in heaven, our desire to serve you is itself your gift, and our perseverance needs your guiding hand. How right it is that we should sing your praise with boundless love you created the human family through your word and the Holy Spirit and lifted it up into communion with yourself. You made the human family your bride, radiant with your, with your own likeness, adorned with the gifts of everlasting life. When your bride, deceived by the evil one, broke faith with you, you did not abandon her. With everlasting love you renewed your servant Noah, the covenant you made with Adam. Then you chose Abraham, the man of faith, to be the father of a people more numerous than the stars of heaven. With the hand of Moses, you see the covenant with them in the tables of the law. Throughout the ages, there arose from your favored people holy women renowned for their devotion and courage, justice and faith. In the fullness of time, you raised up the holy virgin from the stock of Jesse, the Holy Spirit was to come upon her, and your power was to overshadow her, making her the immaculate mother of the world's Redeemer. He became poor, humble, and obedient, the source and pattern of all holiness. He formed the church into his bride, loving her with love so great that he gave himself up for it and sanctified it with his blood. Father, in your loving wisdom, you have singled out many of your daughters to be disciples espoused to Christ and to receive the honor of his love. Holy Church shines with this rich variety, a bride adorned with jewels, a queen robed in grace, a mother rejoicing in her children. Father, we earnestly pray you Send the fire of the Holy Spirit into the heart of your daughter, Mary Fanula, to keep her alive within that holy desire she has given her. Lord, make the glory of baptism and the holiness of life shine in her heart. Strengthened by the vows of her consecration, may she always be one with you in loving fidelity to Christ, her only bridegroom. May she cherish the church as her mother and love the whole world as God's creation, teaching all people to look forward in joy and hope to the good things of heaven. Lord, Holy Father, guide the steps of your servant and guard her on her pilgrimage through life. When she comes at last to the throne of Christ the King, may she not fear him as her judge, but hear the voice of her bridegroom, lovingly inviting her to the wedding feast of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive this veil as a sign of your consecration and keep a broken faith with your heavenly bridegroom. It proclaims that you belong entirely to Christ and to his physical body in the church.
if you are now at one with us, as a member of our religious community of this Cat's Contact Mass, sharing all things with us now and in the future. Be faithful to the ministry the church entrusts on you to be carried out in his name. Amen. Amen.